Ethereum. Uh, we are a technology company. We make electronics and appliances. We got our start in the marine industry about 10 years ago, and now we are the leading supplier for the RV industry. So now this is our first CES, and the reason we're here is because we want to bring our products into the homes and into businesses. Furion started in the marine industry. Our owners are from Australia, and they got their start working on a yacht. And that's kind of where it just grew from there. They, they saw an opportunity and took it, started creating products uh, that, that could serve the marine industry. Since then, it's grown. A natural crossover was into the RV industry as far as um, uh, electrical power, and then it's grown into appliances, uh, you know, really modern looking, nice appliances and uh, different things, solar power and uh, TVs and, you know, uh, audio, you name it. If it's in an RV, we're the leading supplier for the RV industry. It makes sense that a lot of our products would be great for homes and even businesses, hotels and, and that sort of thing. And we are here with Postesis, which is, which is our uh, very first uh, mech. Uh, it's actually an exobionic racing mech. Uh, so it's not, technically it's not a robot because it is uh, operated by a person. So someone would go into the harness, which is in the middle, and would operate it. And uh, it can actually run and jump. It can go up to about 20 miles per hour. And it weighs about 8,000 pounds. Uh, so our, uh, our engineers are actually taking it out to the desert after the show to do some test trials. It's gotten a lot of attention because it's very different. It is the first of its kind and the ultimate goal is to have prosthesis of themselves that they own um, and actually race uh, in a league. So that's, you know, it's kind of like we're creating a sport in a sense too. So this is uh, eventually meant to go in the prosthesis in order to actually operate uh, the, the whole thing to make it work. So th this is not in there yet. There will be two of these for arms and then two similar for legs so that is what this is this is where it all started pretty much this is the Elysium and this is a motorhome that we built uh, we took a chassis gutted it and built this beautiful motorhome and so what it is is it showcases a lot of our products and it's brand new it's the second show it's been to inside the Elysium we have uh, all of our kitchen appliances so we have refrigerators a dishwasher, a confection microwave, an oven, wine cooler. We also make fireplaces and TVs. We make lots of different sizes of TVs. We have a 12 volt line. Uh, we also do observation and backup cameras. So the hot tub is obviously just a really luxurious thing to have on the top of an RV. The way it works is we uh, there's tanks of water in the bottom of the Lyceum and it's pumped up into the hot tub whenever it's ready for use and it's parked, ready to go. Uh, and then when it's time to go, it just drains back down into the tanks. The way this works for transport, uh, a lot of people ask about this, uh, the helicopter is actually on a platform that rotates when it's time to go. Uh, all the way around, the tail then faces the front of the RV, it lowers down into inside the, the lower deck of the RV, and then closes back up for transport. The Elysium was built by our own team, Therion's own R&D team, um, Ben Sexton, Mark Lucas, and, and that team, they built this basically from the chassis up. Thank you Firm 400 for coming out and seeing us today at CES.